The movie begins in the city of Nagpur, India. We are introduced to the daily life of people who live in the slums of the city. The story starts with Don, he lives in the worst part of town. He spends his days with friends who are also in a horrible situation like him. We see Don leaves his house as fast as he can and meets up with his friends. They go riding bikes all over town. And we realize that they are actually going around stealing bags from innocent people in the street. After several hours of stealing and having fun, the group has some food. Nearby, a marital dispute breaks out. The husband is very aggressive with his wife Razia and their kids. Razia decides that she has had enough and leaves him. Her husband doesn't accept that and goes after her, but Don steps in to protect her. The following day, Don gets into a fight with a random man on the street. The man chases after Don and they suddenly collide with Vijay. He is a very tall man with glasses and he stops the conflict. He calms down the situation and starts to lecture Don about his behavior. Don and the other man leave their separate ways and we now follow Vijay. Vijay is a coach who is very close to retiring. Everyone around him wants to know when he will finally decide to leave the sport but he is still unsure of his decision. Vijay goes to practice and realizes that he will be replaced by a younger coach. In the meantime, we see how brutal life is for Don and the other people in the slums. They are now trying to sell the phones that they stole for even the smallest price, just enough to survive. Suddenly, the rain starts. Don and his friends start to play soccer with a giant bottle as that is all they have. By chance, Vijay is visiting that part of town and sees them play during the rain. He notices how many of them have real talent, especially Don, but feels sorry for them so he decides to bring them a real ball. In the next day, he arrives but gets confused and decides against it. Don and his gang get into a brutal fight and get in trouble with the police. But that is a frequent activity for them. Vijay returns the day after and offers Don and his friends some money if they play soccer. They don't believe him at first but they accept his offer. Don and his gang play soccer and Vijay pays them after. And they agree to do the same tomorrow at 6. Don is totally surprised that the old man actually paid them and he thinks that Vijay DJ is crazy. The following day, Don and his friends once again get confronted by the police. But this time it's only two officers, so Don has fun with them. He thinks that he is a very important person in this part of town, but he is actually just insecure. That afternoon, VJ returns, and now he wants to set up some rules. They create a goal with two rocks, and he decides to divide the players into teams. VJ wants to also introduce some discipline and rules in their game of soccer. He is pleased with their performance, and gives them more money. The next day, while they play soccer, VJ has to break up a fight between the players. It will be a challenge to train them as they don't know rules or discipline. The other coaches think that VJ is just wasting his time as these people from the slums are not normal. VJ doesn't like how judgmental the other coaches are. As he thinks that Don and his gang are talented, they just need a chance. After a couple more days, VJ decides to not pay the players anymore. When he doesn't show up with the ball, Don and his crew show up at his house. They demand that he pays them, but Vijay admits that he has no more money. After some thinking, Don tells him to forget about the money and just give them the ball. And Vijay happily accepts that now he is sure they enjoy playing soccer, not for money only. Vijay goes and realizes that the young people of the slums are much better than before. He is so impressed that he thinks they should play against his college soccer team. Vijay proposes that the slum team plays a friendly match with the other team, but they need to train. For the next few days, the slums team trains very hard under the watchful eye of Vijay who has a lot of experience in this field. He creates many exercises for them to grow and become better in the sport. Vijay has to teach them some basic rules as well. Don is a very good player but he needs to learn when to pass the ball to others. Also, one of the players called Babu often picks up the ball in his hands. Vijay has to explain the game of soccer to him in great detail. The day of the match arrives and all the people from the slums are excited. Vijay goes to talk with the headmaster who doesn't want these kinds of people at the college. So Vijay manages to convince him as this is his retirement gift and he truly believes in these people. He is waiting for his players and they all show up in fancy outfits and sunglasses. Don is really focused on impressing a girl that goes to college here. The game begins and the college team is much better. We see the slum team is barely organized. They are fighting with each other. And Don is more focused on the girl than the game. 
Halftime arrives, and Vijay is disappointed in his players. He tells them that they have true talent, but they are wasting their chance. The college players think that they are scum, and they are proving them right. Vijay leaves angry, and Don decides to take control. The slum team now gets really serious, and they decide to prove themselves. They take off their glasses and silly outfits, and decide to play like never before. The game now totally changes, and the slum team starts to come back. They are actually fantastic, and they start to score several goals. One of the girls on the college team notices Don, and it seems like she is interested. Also there are more and more people from the slums in the crowd, cheering on their team. The game starts to get more intense, as the slum team ties the score. The college team is so frustrated, and can't believe that his team is actually in trouble right now. Don has a fantastic moment, where he manages to pass through every player in the entire field, to score the goal to tie the game. The game now goes to penalty kicks, and the slum team actually wins. Everyone starts a giant celebration, and Vijay is proud of his team. After the game is over, he invites all of them to his house, to learn more about them. All the players have a tragic story. They have all either lost their parents, got into drugs, lost their homes, or never had any home. Every story is more tragic than the last. And Vijay wants to hear everyone. When it comes time for Don to tell his story, he basically says that he is nothing special, while tearing up. Vijay is overwhelmed with all the stories, so he now especially wants to continue helping these people. There are problems regarding their training field, because a local businessman illegally builds a shop in the slum, and they can't train anymore. VJ gets involved, and they stop his plans. Now the entire slum joins forces, and they build a proper field for their players. VJ keeps training them, and also keeps giving them wise life lessons. One of the most important lessons he tells his players, is that struggle is part of life, and they have to fly above it. This continues for some time, but one day they get really bad news. One of their players died while working on a train throwing coal. His name was Yogesh and he died working a really dangerous job. Vijay remembers how Yogesh talked about his father being gone and how he had to provide for his family. The entire slum has a funeral for him and they say goodbye to their friend. Vijay also retires and it's a bittersweet moment for him as he is not ready to leave the job of a coach behind him. Soon after that, Don gets into trouble as well. The man that he picked a fight has now come to collect. They start to beat up Don and he has to go on the run. Not only is that guy after him but many others. Don has made many enemies through his behavior so now he is in big trouble. In the meantime, Vijay starts to come up with an idea. One of his players mentioned that they should organize a tournament. Vijay finally goes to talk with the headmaster of the college and many others. He tells them that this is important for the community. Vijay finds out about Don and his troubles and he teaches him a lesson. He demands that Don cleans up his act so that he can build his future. Soon after that, the tournament officially begins. Everyone is really happy, and people from all over the city attend. Everyone is grateful for Coach Vijay, who made this entire tournament happen. At one point, we see a man committing suicide, but backs at the last moment. He hears about the tournament, joins the team, and gets to be the main goalkeeper. There were many teams in the tournament, so it was expected that someone was going to cause trouble. Soon the entire field is filled with junk, and the tournament starts to spiral. In the evening, the headmaster tells Vijay that this was a failure as the slum people are out of control. That same night, the slum team bands together, and they clean the entire field of junk. The next day, the tournament continues as promised and it's a grand celebration. After the tournament, Vijay gets help from his son when it comes to financing the slum teams and helping the people there. Vijay is very nervous about the entire process but trusts his son. Meanwhile, Don is again in trouble but is trying to solve it. There are also many shop owners in the slums who want to help the team which makes Vijay emotional. After the local tournament, a chance for an international tournament arrives but problems arise as as well. The slum people, especially Don and his gang, get held in court. And there is now a movement to put them in prison. Vijay also goes to the trial and speaks directly to the judge. Vijay explains that it's not fair to just brand these people as criminals. They are just people fighting to survive and he is sure that they are good and hardworking people. He demands that the judge gives them another chance and allows them to reach their full potential. The team is cleared and they can leave for the tournament with a chance at a new life. 
Don also cleans up his act and finally joins the team. He is really emotional when he arrives, and Coach VJ welcomes him to the team. The college coach used to call them the slum horde, but they are now a true team, and they have a bright future ahead of them. And all these happened because one man believed in them. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I got to brag I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.